terms right of way and easement are used interchangeably in the profession, but they're completely different things. An easement is a property right. It's not an ownership. It's just giving us a right for a specific purpose on the land of another. The right of way is what you're talking about when you're talking about like roadway corridors, railroads, things of that nature where they're actually taking the property and they're not going to give it back. They're going to use that for the road or the railroad. A right of way, a public right of way on a residential property, you can usually tell where it is by looking at existing utilities such as power lines or telephone or cable boxes. If usually if you can see those, the right of way is in between those boxes and lines and the street. We use right of ways typically for our utilities, which are water, electric, and wastewater. And there are also other times we would use them, such as temporary access roads, so that we can get to where we need to be to put in those utilities. If you have an easement in your yard, there are various resources you could use to find out if you had easements located. Um, one of them is the Cumberland County Register of Deeds and they have all of our recorded easements as well as plats that are recorded that refer to easements. And also, during your closing, if you had a title search done, they would have been uncovered then as well. When we're looking to get an easement, we will do our research, including a, a title search, and get the owners of record and find out everything we can about the property. And then we'll, one of the agents will get that information and make contact with the property owner and kind of explain the reason we need the easement and show them on the ground the size of the easement and what all it's going to require from them. And it's at that point that negotiations usually start. We usually send out uh, letters on a mailing list to everybody. And depending on the size of the project, if it's a smaller project, sometimes we reach out by telephone as well. And there are also times when, if it's, uh, like I said, smaller projects, we can make site visits if we haven't heard from the property owners. It's important to keep the right-of-way and the easement areas clear because our guys need to be able to get in there and repair and maintain those utilities as necessary. And if they're obstructed, it could cause a lot of extra time and it, it takes them longer to get through. Not only that, but whatever's in the way could get damaged. I personally haven't seen anything get damaged, but as far as items within the right-of-way that I've seen, I've seen sheds, garages, swing sets those types of things, all of those are things that you don't want to have in your right of way. Pretty much any permanent structures is not something you want to be there. Before putting in a swimming pool or any really expensive landscaping, you want to take the time to do the research on your property and find out if you have easements and if so, where they're located. And our right of way department does a really good job of providing that information. All they have to do is call us and we can let them know if they have easements and where they're located. And if necessary, we can send surveyors out to actually put it on the ground so they can physically see where it is. When you're dealing with landscaping, if it's prior to negotiation and there's landscaping or shrubs or trees within the easement area we want to acquire, we would take, factor that into the compensation to the owner if they have to be removed as part of our easement area. Now after negotiation and the easements being put in, owners are allowed to put in at their discretion, they can put in small shrubs, flowers that are small, but if we have to come in and repair those lines and we damage or remove any of those, they have to be replaced at the owner's expense. Should you have any questions about PwC and our right-of-ways, please feel free to call us at 910-223-4115.